Hey, this is René. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I will be doing something really different. This is something I've never done before, but I think it might be interesting to many people out there. So today I will list my first product in the MQL5 store. And um, this seems to be a good opportunity to um, offer a expert advisor that you believe is beneficial for many other people to a wide audience of traders. So many people can benefit from your strategy and in return you can also make some money. So even if you are a um, programmer who just started programming or who is um, thinking about programming expert advisor or trading strategies for MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5, I want to <clears throat> help you, show you the process and then give you some more insights so you can decide if it might be a good way of earning some money for you or um, yeah, just to see how this process works. So you can see there are a lot of products already in the MQL5 store and I want to check if I even have the chance to make my product visible and if anybody will um, yeah, will be interested in this product. So first of all, obviously, before you can place your product in the market, you will need a product. So let me show you the strategy that I want to upload to the market real quick. So you can see it here. This is a strategy that I already explained on the channel. It is a <clears throat> rather simple strategy. It uses no mating martingale, no grid components. So it is something new to the market, I think. And you can trade a time range. For example, here I trade the range from 2 o'clock in the morning until 3.30 in US dollar Japanese yen. At least these are the times for the IC market server that I use might be different for your broker server. Um, and then we just trade the breakouts. So it's a rather simple strategy. You could also trade this um, manually, of course, but um, it is easier to use a expert advisor for this. Yeah, so that's pretty much what the strategy does. Um, so I wrote the code for the, uh, for the strategy, of course, compiled it, and then took the compiled um, program range breakout ea.ex5 and put it here on my desktop. So this is obviously the first thing that you need. And then we can jump <coughs> right into the MQL5 market. And first thing you should do is you should um, sign up pretty much, make your own account. Um, I have my account already, obviously. And then the next step is to click here in the on this uh, name of yours and you will um, get to your like membership area. On the left side, you will find the point seller. And this is what we will be clicking on. So you can see here, I am already registered, registered at, as a website seller. Uh, I didn't know this, but I think I did this like two years ago and forgot about it, but I never really posted or published any product yet. So you can click on this link, how to post a product in the market. And this is an article which pretty much describes what you have to do. So you can just read through it, uh, but I will also do the same, uh, same thing in this video. So you can also watch the video, of course. You can see here the first steps describe the process of um, re re registrating, uh, registrating yourself as a seller. So you can see here you will have to make a selfie with your passport. So you can see, uh, they can see that you are indeed a um, real person and a, um, a, a, not a robot or uh, something. And they want to have, have your like personal information because you are really putting something out there to be sold and to be used by many people. So if you are publishing rubbish products or if you are publishing products that harm the um, financial um, uh, the, the finances of the uh, customers, they will be able to track you with this information. So this is really important that you um, provide like um, your personal information here. So then it is about adding the product. And this is what we will do now, because now um, we can click on market here and say add product. I want to add a MetaTrader 5 app. And now you can see this is like the form that we will have to, um, to fill in <clears throat> to describe our product in the best possible way. So first of all, we will have to provide a name. 
Then we say it is a expert, of course. Then we say account type, it should be a hedged account type because we could possibly open buy and sell positions at the same time with this program. And then we can describe um, the, 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 um, the type of expert advisor that we are uploading. I think in this case it is a, yeah, what is it? I think it is of all of these options is most likely a trend trading expert advisor because we are following like these breakout trends. We are not using Martingale, we're not using grid, it's not arbitrage, it's not scalping, it's not hedging. I mean we could open buy and sell positions but this is not like the main idea of the program and we do not do like everything that is uh, stated here. Then we can provide a price. So we can say uh, for unlimited use I want to place this for uh, 79 US dollar. I think this is a fair price, I hope. Um, whoops. So yeah, I mean, you can you can set your pricing here. So it's uh, obviously up to you what you charge for the product. Um, oh, you can see here, no, it's not up to you. Um, it is, um, the, the minimum fee is um, 30 US dollar. And the market charges 20% of this fee. So if you are selling for, I mean, there's an example, of course, if you are selling for 100 US dollar, the seller will get um, 80 US dollar and the market, so the MQL5 market forum, however you want to call it, gets 20% of this. So activations, we can set um, the amount of activations. So yeah, this is the amount of activations, how often it can be used if um, the buyer buys your product. So you can activate it, I think, in 10 different accounts. I could... Um, place a minimum of five activations and I think I can go as far as I want but maybe we leave it um, to, to 10 here. Okay so here I think uh, I can add a uh, meta quotes ID. I believe that I will be um, notified if someone buys the product but I will just leave this empty if I'm able to. So, and I of course have to accept that I want to place this on the market and there are the market developer distribution agreement. So there you can read about the terms and conditions and there is a lot that you can read. And um, uh, you also like say that you um, do not uh, sell any uh, scam product and that you are really uh, providing a good reliable product here. So we will just go to add and now I'm listing this pretty much on the uh, in the market. Now of course this was only the first step and now we'll have to add the, um, uh, the, the information so everyone can see like a description, a logo, a screenshot and so on and so on. So what I'll be doing here is um, I prepared on my desktop here a lot of um, uh, files already. So I have a description, I have a beautiful logo. I mean, I'm, wait, wait, let me show you the bigger logo. <laughs> I'm not a designer, but this is something I think it says range break or trading. It has like beautiful color. It should be okay for now. So you need three different logos for different sizes. And then I provided a lot of screenshots here that pretty much show like some live trading performance and of course some uh, some back tests and some examples of, of trades. So the buyer has a idea what this program does and how it might perform. This is of course now financial advice and it might perform uh, worse in the future. But yeah, this is something uh, I think I can provide to make the uh, buyer um, see how the product can work. Yeah, I think I just uploaded the first logo and then it automatically filled in the second and the third logo. So I would not have to provide the 140 times 140 pixels logo. We only need like one 200 times 200 pixels logo. So this is the size of your logo and you can use I think many um, programs that you can use to um, modify your images can uh, change the size of your image. So you will need a 200 times 200 pixels um, image for the logo here. 
So I can save this now and now there is my logo saved. Now I have the description and here we can do a lot. We can provide description in different languages and it says that we should provide um, a description in multiple languages so it's better for the user to understand or better for many people to understand. But I think I will just add um, English here and maybe I can just um, use the Google Translator to translate it to German maybe because um, this is um, my, uh, my, my, my first language. I'm from Germany so maybe I can provide a, a German description also. But I think I will not go for, for, for Russia and all the other descriptions because I have no idea how to, how to speak it and it might be completely, completely wrong. Okay, so this is um, how you can enter a description. You, I think you just write uh, some things about the strategy. I wrote here what the strategy does and that it is not a martingale or grid system. So the user or the, the, the um, potential um, buyer of the product can get an idea what it does. We could also add a video. Maybe I will make another YouTube video where I explain this expert advisor again and upload it here. But um, yeah, you can just read it in the article on MQL5 later then. But for now, um, we will just save um, this description and go on to the screenshots. Um, oh, again, we can use a video here um, to, a YouTube video here to describe it. Um, I think I might make a video, but now I want to add some images here and I prepared them already um, here. So I can say, for example, here I want to have a screenshot of some trading and then I want a screenshot of a backtest and then I want a screenshot or some more screenshots of the backtest result data here. Also, what I did is I had some uh, screenshots of my, uh, my FX book live account. So um, the, the user can also see some verified live trading um, history. And I think this would be a good thing to show. So if you have some live trading results for your strategy, I think you should provide them here. So the user uh, or the potential buyer can really see um, how this strategy can perform in a live trading scenario. So you can see here, beautiful, we have some data that um, everyone can look at and now we can upload um, the product file. So you click on add product file. Now I can choose a file and this is really interesting because I can choose this uh, X5 file now and if, if I click on save, I think um, he will check this strategy now and this is really cool because he checks the strategy and uh, I think he is doing some tests in the background and he will um, yeah just check if there are errors if there might be problems with this strategy in any account for example if the uh, if the user is able to um, add some inputs that doesn't make sense for example and yeah this is a great way of uh, making sure that the product works. So I will just wait until this uh, is finished and then we will see, okay, the validation failed. So I can look at the report here and see what the problem is. Okay, <laughs> there was some, were some problems with, um, a, with, with sending a order. So what I can do now is I can go back to the code and fix this problem and then I will be able to upload it again. So I think we will have to do this as long as there are errors and once there are no errors anymore, the validation will pass and we are able to uh, place the product in the MQL5 store. So let me just fix the error real quick in the source code. Okay, so I think I had to upload two or three more versions of the program. Like the main issue was um, there were no trades or trades were um, uh, declined um, because the entry price was too close to the stop loss level. This happens if there is a really small range, for example, and some brokers have a minimum um, distance from entry to stop loss and I think the test that this um, 
like this automatic uh, automated test that they are doing here is checking for these things. So you will have to make sure that your code is able to handle these problems. You can work with uh, stop levels. You can use like simple info double, uh, simple simple trade stop levels um, for this, and then like check the distances. But now here we can see the validation passed, even though we had um, I can show it to you. We had several runs that. Um, did not show trading operations, but this is obviously no problem for the test. I think he just wants to find that it is working and he just checks that, um, um, yeah, it can open trades. Oh, here you can see there's also like a, uh, a long article of what you can do to make your program uh, pass the tests. But since I passed all my tests now, I think I can click on publish here. And now I can just read and verify that I do not, uh, <laughs> I do not guarantee any profits. <laughs> no, I don't. And um, yeah, um, do, 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 flashy. Yeah, it pretty much just says that you should not like say that this expert advisor will will um, make profits guaranteed because nobody can guarantee this and yeah you will have to like agree to all of these rules and then you click on ok and i think now it will be published and this is really exciting this is my first product whoops <laughs> this is not why what i expected but yeah let's see if my product was <laughs> was published but yeah this is really exciting because this is my first product that i ever post in the in the in the store here and you can see there's one product one expert advisor so really really cool and there it is already so and uh, looks like i published this uh how can i see it so there's the seller and there's the product so let's click on it we open this in a new tab and whoa this is really cool okay this looks pretty much as i plant it so you can see there are these beautiful images everything that i wanted to have there there's like the live trading performance okay the screenshot is a little bit oh ah, okay yeah i think i will still have to do some modifications because i uploaded the same screenshot twice and also the screenshot is not really like beautiful because it shows like the growth of minus 2.3 percent here which was like after the first week but yeah um this is pretty much the process that you can do to um Oh, and I also see statistics of like how many demos were downloaded and stuff like this. So yeah, you can go ahead and download a demo now for this product. It's Range Breakout EA in the store um, and you can test it. And if you like it, maybe you want to buy it. And also you can use this video as a little um, guideline of uh, for, for uploading your own products and um, also if you have any questions about uploading i mean i did the process now i know how it works you can leave me a comment below this video and if i read it and if i'm able to answer your question i will help you of course but um please do not ask me too many questions about how to fix your code so that it will be accepted by the um, by the uh, automated verification because this is a process that can take a while if your code is really messy so please just read the article and try to figure out how to how to how to solve the problems so yeah um, check the product in the store and I hope you liked this little video and also I will make a update in like a week a month I don't know um, about how it's going if somebody downloaded the demo if somebody bought the product and maybe you can see like if this is a good or a possible source of income maybe even for you so uh, leave a like if you like the um, idea and also um, drop a comment if you want to uh, tell me something about the store or if you have any questions. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Until then, have a great time and good trades. Bye-bye.